Utah Senator Mitt Romney says he will not seek re-election in 2024. In a video released on social media today, the former Republican presidential nominee highlighted the fact that he would be in his mid-80s at the end of a new term. He says it's time for a younger generation to lead the U.S. Romney also went on to criticize both President Biden and former President Trump. Now, we face critical challenges, mounting national debt, climate change, and the ambitious authoritarians of Russia and China. Neither President Biden nor former President Trump are leading their party to confront those issues. Romney was elected to the U.S. Senate back in 2018. He says he plans to finish his term through 2025. For more on this, CBS News political director Finn Gomez joins us from the D.C. Bureau. Finn, always great to see you. I've got to great say, to see you, Errol. I was yeah. kind of surprised to hear this news today, but maybe I'm just not in the loop. How surprising from your point of view is it that Senator Romney now chooses not to run for re-election? Well, Errol, I had been hearing, we had been hearing two different things, two different things coming out of uh, his, uh, p the potential for what he would do, like out of, out of Utah and here in, in D.C., would he run? Uh, this was the end of his, of his term, and he did have a, uh, a likely primary fight ahead of him. Uh, and, of course, he has been a very vocal uh, critic of former President Donald Trump, who is currently the, uh, the dominant frontrunner in the Republican primary race. So, if you recall, 2022, Errol, uh, during those, uh, that midterm cycle, there, you know, Donald Trump um, endorsed a lot of um, uh, candidates that primaried um, uh, incumbents and also essentially scared away other incumbents who might run because of that problematic primary uh, landscape. So, uh, you know, he could, uh, Mitt Romney could have been looking at looking ahead uh, at that possibility uh, if he ran again. Uh, but I mean, it was somewhat surprising because he still remains popular in Utah. Uh, however, you know, I think, you know, he's had, he's had a very long uh, career in politics. He was the former Republican governor of Massachusetts, and then, of course, uh, came to Utah and became, you know, before, and, and then after that, excuse me, uh, he was the governor of Massachusetts and then the Republican presidential nominee in 2012, yeah. which I, I covered him extensively throughout the country. And then, of course, he, he I, I became senator uh, of Utah. So, very storied and long career here. That's right. The Romney Ryan ticket wasn't enough to take on the Obama Biden ticket back in 2012. What jumped out to me is that he clearly cites his age as a reason that he's choosing now to step away as we debate the age of others, not just in the White House or running for the White House, but on Capitol Hill. Might that have any kind of impact on the, some other aging lawmakers? I think that, you know, obviously this is an issue that a lot of people are talking about, not only here in Washington, but throughout the country. And, and it, it really has become, you know, a forefront issue uh, with the two, uh, you know, with the, with the incumbent president, President Biden being 80 years old, and again, and Donald Trump, uh, the front runner in the primary race, uh, is 77, and, and has really become a, a really a, a hot topic, a hot button issue, if you will, uh, at this point in, in the cycle. And I think, I think it, it could have played a role here. I think it does uh, bring more attention to that issue. We did see in our own polling uh, that showed that a lot of voters uh, were, were keyed in on this issue uh, of uh, of if if um, on the age issue, uh, but also in, in the Wall Street Journal poll that came out earlier this week that showed that uh, upwards of 70 percent of those polled believed that age was an issue uh, in um, uh, for for President Biden and his and his presidential reelection bid. So I mean, I think that this may uh, really um, stir a uh, spur, excuse me, uh, more discussion on this issue, and it could, and it could possibly impact those who are who are on the bubble on whether they should run or not. And in making his announcement, Senator Romney criticized both President Biden and former President Trump. Said they're not doing enough to to face the climate, to face the Russian threat, to face China. What then? Or who then becomes the elder statesman of the Senate and takes the Romney role of being kind of not just critical to the opposing party, but critical to his own party in, in kind of a, a leadership type way? You know, that's a great question, Errol. I think, you know, right now it is a completely different Senate from even, you know, a few years back. And I think that, I think, you know, with the, 
uh, you know, some issues being raised about Mitch McConnell, who, who is leading the, that Senate pack right now. That uh, I think that about uh, on the age issue and on some, you know, on on some health issues, I think there there could be uh, the potential for a lot of uh, change in the coming years uh, in, in terms of leadership and also uh, that sort of you know Mitt Romney, John McCain, uh, contrarian who can who's who's willing to go against his own party. If you recall, uh, Errol, you know uh, Romney also voted in in both impeachment trials against Donald Trump. He was the only Republican senator to do so. Uh, so I think you know I think it's kind of wide open. Let's see who who emerges. Yeah, he's had quite the story career so far. It's not over yet. Um, but not we'll over see. yet. What happens next? Finn Gomez, thank you very much. Thank you, Errol.